days after Hurricane Maria passed over the island and made its way west toward the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico is still struggling with the initial response to the storm, rescuing people stranded in remote villages, and moving thousands into government shelters. Meanwhile the island's first responders are making do without electricity, gas or cell phone service after the storm dealt a knockout blow to its infrastructure. In what was perhaps the most destructive blow to the island's aging infrastructure, the NWS warned Friday that the Gorgetica Dam in northwest Puerto Rico would soon fail, prompting the agency to issue a flash flood emergency warning for Isabel and Quebradillas municipalities. Now, authorities are scrambling to evacuate the residents of the river valley below the dam before their communities are entirely submerged. If the authorities don't act quickly, Thousands could die one official in charge of the rescue response said. According to Federal Reservoir data, the lake behind the dam, Lago de Gorgetica, rose more than three feet between Tuesday and Wednesday, when the storm was still directly over the island. More recent data were unavailable. With floodwaters gushing into the Gorgetica River Valley, Reuters reports that emergency officials were scrambling Friday and Saturday to evacuate its nearly 70,000 residents before their villages have been completely submerged. The evacuation of the valley is perhaps the most high-stakes rescue effort of the past week, according to Abner Gomez, executive director of Puerto Rico's Emergency Management Agency. Gomez said Friday that the dam's floodgates suffered mechanical damage during the storm, which made it impossible for authorities to open and let out normal water currents. He added that there is no way to fix it right now considering the conditions and said if the dam tops over or fails structurally, thousands of people could die. The Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority, which operates the dam, says that the failure is already causing flash flooding downstream. The dam lies across the Gorgetica River to form a reservoir that can hold roughly 11 billion gallons of water. According to Weather.com, local media have reported that residents of one small community near the dam are refusing to evacuate, forcing authorities to invoke a law that allows responders to evacuate children and the elderly in an emergency. The latest crisis comes as the death toll on Puerto Rico rose to 21 on Friday, when authorities said eight people had died in Taubaha 30 miles from San Juan, where more than 4,000 people have been rescued from floodwaters. Meanwhile, some shelters are running out of food and other essential supplies, creating a situation that the island's governor, Ricardo Rossello, described as a humanitarian emergency. Maria made landfall in Puerto Rico early Wednesday as a powerful Category 4 hurricane with 155 miles per hour winds, the first Category 4 to hit the island since 1932. The storm wiped out the island's power grid and dumped 20 to 30 inches of rain in 24 hours, with some areas seeing as much as 40 inches. The storm could leave most of the island without power for weeks or possibly up to six months in some areas. Please share this on Facebook with your thoughts. What is your opinion on this? Scroll down to comment below. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Let's make this go viral, share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out our all new website with much more content than on this YouTube channel. And if you are looking for the latest must-haves at the most affordable prices, then check out at thismall.com. That's once again, at thismall.com. Let the world know your thoughts on this story. Thank you to all that helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.